how the analog joysticks work and what causes them to drift. All analog joysticks often have the exact same mechanism. One simple tactile knob for when you press down on the joystick and two potentiometers that determine the X and Y position of the joystick. The potentiometers is where the problem lies when drifting occurs. Potentiometers are everywhere and aren't rocket science at all. You will find them for example on amplifiers to change the volume. The only difference is that they are a bit bigger and have a knob on them. A potentiometer consists of two resistors here called Z1 and Z2. The values of these resistors change when the joystick is moved around. The total resistance of the two resistors always add up to the same number. This number is arbitrary but can for example be 10k ohms. Why they use potentiometers in these kinds of joysticks becomes clear when the basics of voltage dividers is known. Every potentiometer is also a voltage divider where the output voltage is dependent on the values of Z1 and Z2. The general formula is given as V out equals V in times Z2 over the sum of Z1 and Z2. There are some general rules of thumb. With the joystick at rest, Z1 is as big as Z2, which simply makes the output voltage half the input voltage. If the joystick is moved in a way so the potentiometer is maxed out, then Z1 is 0 ohms or Z2 is 0 ohms, depending on the direction of the movement. When this occurs, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage or ground. The magic happens when the value of the output voltage is sent to a microcontroller which translates that voltage to a digital signal which the console and game can decipher into movement. I made some examples of XY plots so it's visual how the two potentiometers work together in determining the movement of the joystick. In this plot, the joystick is at rest. This means that both potentiometers have the exact same value of half the input voltage. In this case, the input voltage is 3.3 volts. In this plot, we move the joystick all the way to the left and our character or camera starts moving to the left. Notice how the potentiometer for the y-axis is still at rest. In this plot, we walk slightly to the northeast. Both the x and y-axis potentiometers are a little moved away from the resting position. Analog drift occurs when the resting position is not anymore exactly in the middle of both potentiometers even when the joystick is not being touched. In the example to the right, it's visible how the resting position is slightly off-center, which causes the player or the camera to move slightly to the left. I've noted three causes of this problem. The case often is that after using the joystick a while, some damage occurs to the resistive tracks of the potentiometers, or it can happen that dirt builds up inside the potentiometers. This can be cleaned up, but can be risky and scary when you're not so familiar with electronics. A second problem can be that the joystick itself is dirty and touches the casing of the controller. Sometimes a Q-tip can remove most dirt on the joystick without having to open up the controller. The third problem can be that the mechanism that's responsible for returning the stick to the resting position has weakened and isn't capable of returning to the exact center anymore. For this problem, but also the previous ones, it's recommended to buy a new analog sensor replacement or just buy a new controller.